we're here at the Superdome for this interconference matchup between the Titans and the Saints. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims getting set for kickoff and a big primetime game headed your way. The lights are on. The excitement's building, Bill. Yeah, it really is. And I tell you what it does to players, Jim. They sit around all day long, and what are the, the tensions build up. The excitement gets there. They come out in the field. They, they know it's a different game because everybody's going to be home watching them. And believe me when I tell you, players like that. Back in your days when you had to take on a team from the AFC, didn't know them all that well. What was it like as we have this little interconference matchup today? Well, I thought back in those days, Jim, we were about ready to show them what toughness and hard hitting was. Uh, today it's a little different, but I'll tell you this, this NFC team, they are a hard hitting bunch. Start of this one. Rod Baronis lining up for the kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. Here comes the former Super Bowl MVP for the New Orleans Saints, quarterback Drew Brees. The jumbo set on the field. Now first and ten. They feed the running back. Good piece of tackling. Here's the offensive line. And for this team, they are the lifeblood of the offense. When they're blocking well, this team can do some serious damage. Offense lines up here. Quick drop back. The Saints get a first down. Getting that first first down in the game, to me as a quarterback, is a lot like completing that first pass. It just feels good, uh, eases the pressure, puts you in rhythm, and you hope it keeps going from there. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Staying with the passing game on first down. The throw to the left. The yellow marker comes out on target. Player showing no restraint coming in on the quarterback, and that late hit will cost his team 15. A lot of times these late hits are called, and I, I feel for the defensive player. Not in this case. That was an easy call, a blatant late hit. It's worthy of 15 yards. That flag gives them a new set of downs. Breaks the tackle, breaks the plane, touchdown. The Saints line up for the extra point. The point after try is in the books. 
And following the extra point, the Saints are leading by seven. The Titans are ready to take it to them. He'll have to accept the touchback. The pride of Boston College quarterback, Matt Hasselbeck. Matt Hasselbeck, fundamentally one of the most sound quarterbacks in the National Football League. That's why he's been a success for so many years. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. And the give now to Chris Johnson. Gains maybe five. Still looking at the lineups, Chris Johnson. How will they stop him today? Well, my uh, clue to stop him, don't let him get out in open space because if he's not the fastest guy in the NFL, he's one of the top two or three. So look out for Chris Johnson. They bring in an extra defensive back. Second down and five. Looking across the middle, the Titans now move the chains. The pack was going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. What a job by the quarterback, finding a way to throw that football and pick up another first down. They are marching down the field right now. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Gains 12. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. Full house formation. First down and 10. Leading on that running attack again here on first down. Here's a look at the defensive starters and a good look at the secondary. A group that could be the difference in this game today. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. Staying on the ground, they deck him in the backfield. Nickel formation here for the defense. Drop back, shotgun formation. The quarterback throws to the right. The tackle was made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Hunter awaits the snap. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. Quarterback dropping back, looking to get the feet planted. 
The defensive line will be the focus here in this game. If they're disrupting the quarterback, the rest of the defense will have a chance to do their thing. Second down after the incompletion. And the give to Pierre Thomas. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. No gain on the play. Ready. On the way, third down. Three-step drop, and it's knocked down, incomplete. Well, the protection was bad. Quarterback didn't have the time. He's off balance, and he throws the incompletion. Hey, how about this decision? They're not going to punt it. They're going to try to pick up the first down. Working that left side. Has it right on the sideline, inbounds. Defense is about discipline, and when you lose discipline, big plays happen. That time, the defensive pass rushers, a little overzealous, they get out of the rush lanes, the quarterback gets outside and makes the play. That play is going to be challenged. There is the red flag. So they review the play over and over again. Did the receiver have possession of the ball as he went out of bounds? The big thing, you know, always now, we got to learn ourselves, too. When we watch this replay, make sure we do it in full speed because that's how you have to judge, is it a catch or not? Does he, if it's bang, bang, and it comes out of his hands, then it's going to be incomplete. Right here, good challenge. Going to be a tough call for the referee. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands as called. So he challenged the play, and the coach's challenge does not pay off. Well, I, I agree with the head coach still. I would have made this challenge, and it was a little bit of a gamble, but it was worth it. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. And gains about one. That's a terrible read by the running back. It's a short game, but it's all his fault. He picked the wrong hole. He should have cut it back. He didn't, and that's why he was tackled. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. And this was where Super Bowl 47 was played back in February of 2013, the Mercedes Superdome. The defense comes out of the nickel. Out of the shotgun formation. And he wants to throw it across the middle. That's a tackle right near the 48. Good job by the receiver that time. Get that extra couple yards, gets a first down. They are marching. Let's see how the defense reacts. If you were a defensive coordinator and you knew you had to face Drew Brees, what would you think? Tackle well. You know, because, you know, everything comes into play. He can find one receiver to the next as fast as anybody in the NFL. And no matter what defense you're in, they know how to change the plays to get to the right one that's going to work the best against what you're doing. That's, that's why he's had such, like you said, Jim, Hall of Fame success. 
Play number six coming up on this drive. The formation here, shotgun. The quarter. Ball's picked off. Bringing the play to an end. Personal foul, roughing the passer, defense. Roughing First the down. passer call gives the offense 15 yards and a new set of downs. Yeah, and it was a, it was a terrible roughing the passer that time. He absolutely took two steps before he hit the quarterback. You can see when he lets the ball go. When you see him let it go, pull up. Really good field position here to start this drive. It's handed to the running back. Tackles made. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. That'll be second and four after the running play. He gets it again on this drive. He's got some daylight, has some space to work with. He's in the end zone, touchdown. Never be satisfied in the NFL. Players are just too good. So when you get a chance to score, even though you're leading, take advantage of it. Awesome job by the coordinator on those play calls. The Saints line up for the extra point. And the extra point is good. Saints ready here for the kickoff. That's a touchback. Offense lines up here. First and ten. This is a screenplay all the way. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. The Tennessee Titans a year ago, first year under Mike Munchak, and I think they surprised quite a few folks. Yeah, they did. They did it with a veteran quarterback, Matt Hasselback really played well for him went unnoticed and, and people just didn't give him the credit he deserved but he was the big reason why I thought the team turned everything around his play was good enough that it could keep Jake Locker a first round drafted quarterback on the bench again for the second year wide receivers are bunched up first and ten they give it to the back and he's running off tackle It's now second down. Tight ends in motion here. Back to the ground, trying to plow ahead. Excellent job of just picking up the first down. This offense is hot, another first down, and they are moving down the field. First down here. Hey. 
will run with it again. And he's brought to the ground. You got to keep your offensive line aggressive. So you got to let them run the football so they can hit those defensive linemen. The run didn't pick up many yards, but it's still circle point. Getting close to the two-minute warning. Time for one more play. Second down and nine. Another handoff. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground trying to work the middle of the field inaccurate with that one play number six coming up on this drive second and ten one, a takeaway. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. First down here. Go run it. Here's the handoff. He is tackled right at the 50. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. We see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. First down here after the run. Quarterback with toss to the outside. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Number 23 on the carry. Loss of two. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. Second and 12. He's scrambling now. The reception, easy, wide open. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired. And when you get tired, you make mistakes. First down here after the completion. The quarterback will hand it off.
Second down now. Gets it again here. And not until they pick up good yardage as he brought down. That timeout by the offense. This will be a 41-yard field goal try. Catches a piece of the upright and goes through. Count the field goal. That does it here for the first half. Titans trail in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Saints are leading by 17. Phil, what was the story in the first half? I'll tell you what a halftime lead does to a professional athlete. You go in there, it gives you tremendous confidence. You go, well, we just ripped their rear end for one half. There's no reason why we can't go out there in the second half and continue to get it done and win this game. He's brought down at the 23-yard line. Titans getting ready now to start their drive. Nickel formation for the defense here. From the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Inhales the pass. You took a few of these shots in your day, and that's a late hit on the quarterback. Yeah, nowadays, these guys, they I, I believe the quarterback is overprotected. This, to me, this is a bad call. Uh, the defensive player, feel bad. You, all he's doing is his job, and he still gets penalized 15 yards. First down following the penalty. Hey. Five, 20. Five, Looks to his left. Tackled down at the 28-yard line. These first downs add up. It's like body punches in a fight. You keep hitting guys to the body. They get tired. They give up. That's what's happening to this defense right now. First down following the long play. Now in rhythm, the quarterback drops back to throw once more. Incompletion on that hurried throw. Nice job that time by the defense. Pressure on the quarterback. He does not have time to find an open guy, and it results in an incompletion. Failing to complete that one, so second down here. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Looks like a gain of three, maybe four. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Split backfield here. Third and six. Here's the handoff, running off tackle. The Titans now ready to attempt the kick for three. Kick is 
is good for three. Nice little recovery that time by the field goal holder. He gets it in position. This kicker, he is a machine right down the middle. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. Smartly takes a knee in the end zone. Saints come onto the field now for this next series. Offense lines up here. They better hurry to get the snap. Pierre Thomas takes the handoff. Hey, up the middle. In on the stop. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football Picking up another first down and moving the chains. Offense lines up here. Now first and ten. Running for his life. He's looking to the right here on this throw. He's brought down at the 46. So many times we see quarterbacks get in this position. They get out of trouble, but they're so terrible throwing the football on the run, they can't take advantage of the fact that they got out of trouble. Not this time. Good throw on the run. That long gain sets them up here on this play. First down and 10. Gets away from the heat. The pass down the field by Drew Brees. Ball is batted down. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Second down and 10. And the give to Pierre Thomas. The tackle was made, but the first down is picked up. When you see a long run like that, you know what it does? It just breaks the will of the defense. In the NFL, it's all about passing. You see all these wonderful things. But when it comes down to it, who can win the war up front? And you win the war by running the football. Great job by the offensive line that time. First down on the way. Out of the gun. Looking to scramble. Looking to the right side and throwing. That'll stop the play right there. Good job that time by the quarterback. Throws the ball very well on the run for the completion. They've got a first down now after that catch. They'll go ground. He's in the clear. Gains 13. Good job that time by the running back. I'm sure he's a little winded at that play. He showed that speed getting out there and picking up those extra yards. Play number six coming up on this drive. They feed him the ball again. 
for a gain of about five. This defense is so stout. They stopped the last play just short of the touchdown. And can they do it again? Hard to move them out of there, so you better be creative on the offensive side. The defense is showing blitz here. Fifteen minutes to go. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. This magnificent structure stands some 27 stories tall. The Mercedes-Benz Superdome here in the heart of good old New Orleans. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Play clock's running down, staying on the ground. Puts up six. Well, what a play for the touchdown, and I'll tell you, in the NFL, there's so many good players on offense now, you can never have enough points. So keep padding on that lead. Good job, good score. The Saints line up for the extra point. He made it. And following the extra point, the Saints lead by 21. The Titans are ready to take it to them. Better judgment says, take it in. The Titans getting set now for their next series. The defense comes out in the nickel. First and ten. Eyeing that left side. Makes the catch in the open field. Well, this is defensive line's fault here at this time, Jim. They do not have discipline. They're out of their rush lanes. And look at the passing lane the quarterback has. That's why he gets the completion down the field. They bring in an extra defensive back. Hey, hey. Three, eight. Three, eight. Tight end in motion. Six. They're going back up top, looking for a receiver on the left side here. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just a, it, it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. And here we have second down. They send the tight end in motion. He drops back to throw. He'll fire it out to the left. 
the margin of error against man-to-man -man defense is much smaller for a quarterback than it would be against zone defenses. That time, the quarterback right on target. Good throw. They've come out in the dime package. Snap back to the quarterback, out of the gun. And making the stop, it's Malcolm Jenkins. When you're a quarterback throwing against zone defenses, look for the open space. That's what he did that time. He found it, and the receiver ran in there and made the catch. Nickel formation here for the defense. Blue tip. Blue tip. Set. Second down and two. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. Good throw and good catch right on the sideline. The defense will not decline. They will take the penalty. Offense costing themselves there. Second down following the penalty. Throwing now to his left. We've got a flag. He stacked up at that point. Player showing no restraint coming in on the quarterback, and that late hit will cost his team 15. A lot of times these late hits are called, and I, I feel for the defensive player. Not in this case. That was an easy call. A blatant late hit. It's worthy of 15 yards. They'll take that Blue gift from tip. the defense and line up now with a new set of downs. Trying to work that left side. There's the flag on the play. That's a face mask call, and of course, for now on, it's 15 yards no matter how you slice it. They don't even have to interpret it anymore. The severity of it, it's a big penalty. Yeah, it is a big penalty. Uh, you know, one thing, you know why we see a lot of face mask penalties in the NFL now? It's because players tackle too high. Get your arms around the waist. Go down low to make those tackles, and you wouldn't get those face mask penalties. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. False start on the offense will set them back. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Second down and eight. They'll throw it over the middle. There's a flag right there. The penalty is declined. That last play will hold up. The Titans line up for the point after. Makes the PAT. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. And the 
the tackle is made right around the 39-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage in an excellent starting point. First and ten to the ground here. Defense has them wrapped up. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Now we reach the two-minute warning. Got it! Here go. The quarterback mixing things up at the line of scrimmage. Second down and seven. They hand it off to him again. Defense wraps him up. The defensive captain looks over and signals an immediate timeout. They load it up now, bring out the jumbo formation. We'll run it with him again. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. We'll go with the extra tonnage here with the jumbo set. Gains 11. Defense calls a timeout. Trying to make a play here in the red zone. And here's a look at their red zone percentage to this point, which is brought to you by Verizon. Verizon, rule the air. Offense lines up here. Takes a knee. That's going to do it here in this one. And 
coming up next is the post-game wrap-up, brought to you by Gatorade. G-Series Recover, giving you the protein you need to rebuild your muscles. Well, the lights were bright, and the team was up for the occasion here, winning in prime time. Nothing like it, man, winning in prime time when you know it's all about you. And I've said many times, today's football players, they love being on the big stage. Well, they were today, and they got it done. It's been a game we'll always remember. Jim Nance, Phil Sims, so glad to bring it to you.